the last thing I expected to get in this waterborne care package was a fresh, brand new set of Shark Wheel California rolls. I've been wanting to test these things for so long now and just never had the chance. I've been so excited ever since seeing David and Zach present their innovation on Shark Tank. This is their Instagram story on how it works and they have tons more content about it. They reinvented the wheel using sine waves to fit into a cube. It doesn't just steamroll through stuff, it literally dodges rocks and obstacles. Absolutely tons of research and science involved, made in the USA and making huge waves with tons of different industries. I'm really excited to see what they do in the agriculture and transportation industry. Now let's get into the unboxing. I definitely get the same reaction a lot of y'all got when first looking at these. Whoa. <laughs> they literally look like cubes. It's, it's weird. It's a bit hard to see in the video, but the contact, it looks like it's stone ground, except not really. It's actually very, very thin grooves going down the entire wheel. So yeah, more sine waves. These little flat spots are just from the molding process and they don't affect the wheel at all. Funny though, at first glance, this reminds me of a Tangle or Tangle Jr. from our childhood. Do y'all remember that? Anyways, as you can see here, the math is pretty involved. A wheel formed by sine waves with 30 degree angles seemingly connected by the triangle you see there, all to fit within a cube. The math, science, and research involved in this is very impressive, but does it work? We'll find out in just a moment. For now, here's some bearing ASMR. looking so sweet right now okay enough of this let's get into it finally gonna test these bad boys out and gonna see for myself exactly what they are capable of i put together literally the most rainproof setup i could possibly think of the waterborne carbon fiber scorpio paired with the dream truck and rail adapter we'll talk more about the build in a minute but first just just watch this So satisfying. Another close-up camera angle test. This was literally straight out of the car. The waterborne carbon fiber Scorpio was probably the best option to pair with the shark wheels for this test ride. Being completely made of carbon fiber, there's no warping of any wood when getting wet. Really, the only thing I have to worry about is the hardware and the grip tape, but that's not an issue for me. I've done this long enough. The Scorpio is just a little bit short for me, but the cutouts in the tail and nose make it so flexible, and it's still a really fun ride. I really love the way this setup looks. I don't give the Scorpio enough love because, man, this looks badass. Normally seeing rain in puddles tells me I'm not going to skate today. But with shark wheels, that completely changes the game. Barely even in and I'm already so impressed by the capability and versatility of these wheels. Slippery. These are gripping though. Super controlled slide. Wow, holy crap. When I tell you sliding in the rain with these wheels literally felt like it was in slow motion. Uh, like, wow. Wow, I am highly impressed. Highly, highly impressed. I get grip in the rain. I'm actually pumping. Slide is super controlled, super, 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 super controlled. Wow. Putting these babies to the test. Wait, pause. 
I just want to take a second to show you that this board does not always squeak like that. The setup that day was pretty thrown together, without enough tightening or lubrication. Normally it sounds more like this. Also rainy in this video, plus some ripside pivot cups should help tons with that. It really is tons more quiet in real life than it is in the original video. Alright, now let's get back to it. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. As soon as I hit dry spots, the grip was so strong that it just wouldn't give. Oh, now that you're dry, you wanna... <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving these wheels. Wow. These wheels just kept surprising me. To not be hydroplaning right now is insane. To even be trying to slide in the rain, my mind is blown. This setup is so fun, so badass. It's just the ultimate rain build. I was just starting to slow down and almost come to a stop when the road got wet again and that gained a lot more momentum yeah barely any foot brake traction this is fun <laughs> ah, i keep getting too scared it's too steep and sketchy <laughs> but these wheels are holding it down i'm curious how long can you foot brake with your surf skate let me know leave a comment or show it off I had tons of fun at this place with these wheels. I really could not have ridden this trail without these wheels. I can guarantee that. I've tried riding bike trails like this before when it was a bit wet and I swear any other wheel, I hydroplane and I bust my butt. These wheels really are something special. No. Rock. <laughs> Okay, I know, I'm talking too much. I'll shut up now. Just enjoy this beautiful part of the trail. It was so nice to skate down. I mean, look at that. It's so nice here. I'm so impressed by these wheels, they're incredibly versatile. I think it's safe to say every claim that they've made, it actually holds up. Last thing I'm going to say is these shark wheels paired with a waterborne carbon fiber board, wow. Rainy days will never stop me ever again. And that's pretty damn amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. If you're local to me and you'd like to test these out for yourself on any of the setups I have, let me know. As always, I can build you a dope custom like this or just get one yourself. Use discount code RADICAL at your next waterborne purchase. Go outside, stand in the rain, take care and shred safe out there.